Hi guys, Glader here. Today I have an update on the PSO project, which is mostly related to contributing, specifically the programming side. What I've done over the past few days is I've consolidated in the Boomin Nation GitHub repository. And if you don't know what that is, that's our home base for development, where we do all of our work, which is open source, except for this client project which contains licensed materials from Unity and the Unity 3D Asset Store for post-processing, etc. That's currently closed source because it has to be. But everything else, including all the code that powers the client and all the demos you've seen, is available and open source on github.com slash boomination. But it was difficult to sort of dive in and understand what was going on and how exactly this was built. But over the past few days, I've created a repository called Booma.Library, which is a merger of nearly every single other repository, which I've not yet removed, and may just leave there as deprecated in the title, so as not to confuse people. But this is a mega repository containing every project, except for one or two that is a part of the Fantasy Star Online remake. Now... I should have said this earlier, but if you're not interested in contributing uh, software-wise, programming-wise, this really isn't the video for you. There's not going to be any amazing, groundbreaking updates or any new information, really, aside from sort of the structure of how the project's laid out. Now, before I show you the Visual Studio solution, which is more digestible, I'm going to show you the test folder. We don't have great test coverage for PSO-specific stuff. Some of the tools and libraries that we've written for Fantasy Star Online that aren't specific to Fantasy Star Online have some decent coverage, but we do not have great coverage for this. And a lot of that is because there's some Unity 3D dependencies that makes it so we cannot test it in a traditional fashion. But we're going to work on improving that. Now let's check out the source folder real quick. And yeah, there's a, there's a lot of projects here. And it might be misleading because some of these are rather small. For example, let's see, booma.instance.inversionofcontrolmodules.client. It's very small, just one folder with three components for registering things. For example, here we just register a network entity collection. Very, very small, simple. So it might look scary at first, but some of these are rather small libraries. They will grow over time, but they're just small right now. And in this format makes it look a lot more difficult than it is. If we open the Visual Studio solution, we'll see that it's laid out a bit better. We have five main folders. We have some entity stuff, for example, containing the network GUID structure based on World of Warcraft and you can see sort of how that format and what these 64-bit values actually mean this is all this by the way all this stuff's gonna get refactored or a lot of it's gonna get refactored so I mean a lot of it's not gonna change but it's gonna be cleaned up and you'll find that stuff is not as well documented as for example this right here but yeah so we have entity stuff some prefab stuff. I don't even know if this is going to stay here, but we've got that. We have Unity common libraries, specific to sometimes client or server, as you can see here, but also some common libraries. For example, we have Logging Common, which just hides the Unity 3D logger behind uh, the uh, common.logging project, which is some NuGet package you can find to uh, unify all your logging behind a common interface, which I think is good, and we do that, and we just inject the loggers. Uh, that's empty. It's here somewhere. Yeah, we just inject the loggers like this. We register them, and then they're injected into any class that needs them at runtime. So, just to give a description of sort of what the idea is with all these IOC module projects, is they're just registrations of services that you'll attach to game objects and register at the start of the scenes. So it's not a lot of work in here. In fact, 
two of these are currently empty, as you can see, because we don't have anything specific to client or server being registered. We do have uh, common registrations. Well, that's no good. We need some. We need some music here. Play the old version. And we have some server selection stuff, which is this ship selection. We have a section for uh, packets or payloads or whatever you want to call them. Um, let's take a look at an event. Here's a here's a packet sent containing spawn of something. I guess it's got a GUID position, a rotation, pr pretty primitive stuff. But I, it's subtyped into more specific stuff that contains information maybe about scale, a prefab, or if you send current state with it, whatever. So we have stuff like that. And we also have the instance project, which is the most the most recent popular video, 12,000 views, was called Networking 2 Update or whatever. And uh, all the code for that's here. Uh, some of it's good, some of it's bad, but I think that's what you get with every project. I really like some of this stuff. I really hate some of the stuff. It's always a uh, give and take with moving forward and keeping things nice and designing things well, I suppose. So that's all there. And so with this format, it should be a lot more digestible than just looking at the raw source folder. And I must stress that this was just completed today, this merger. And while everything here, let me show you how to do it clean. While everything here builds, please build. While everything here builds, as you see, I cannot stress enough that sh there's nothing you can take this stuff and drop it into yet, and it'll just run. Um, we'll be working on that. That's, uh, that's something I want to do for potential contributors but if you're interested in stuff you can just clone and run we have you covered for two things you can go to the booma.gameserverlist.service repository which is basically a deployable repository it contains a simple build script a simple deployment script and you're ready to go and you're running a ship list uh, a test ship list it's not a complete project yet there's hard-coded ships. Um, not sure how we want to do a configuration file or stick it in the database like Trinity Core. We're not sure. But this is something you can clone and deploy. And that's sort of the style I want to move the project in for potential contributors so that you can download or clone and run something right away and see results and changes that you make. And I want to make it friendly for contributors. I think Booma.library is a lot more friendly and welcoming. For example, this solution may look crazy, but um, if it was spread out into all these different repositories like it was a couple of days ago, it was not, I don't think, friendly to new contributors. So that's something we want to do with the instance server, which we don't have ready yet, and it won't be ready for a while, because the focus after this is going to move to refactoring cleaning things up, preparing some uh, build scripts for preparing for having being able to deploy and download just and deploy the instant servers and all sorts of other servers or services. So we're going to work towards that, but also I want to go back and fix some stuff that's broken, like the combat formula project. It's broken. It doesn't work. And possibly work on some other stuff as well, since there's some there's some boring stuff that needs to be complete before we move to working on character selection and creation or uh, whatever we work on next. Always have to maintain the previous code, fix it up, clean it up, or, you know, the foundation's going to crumble. So that's what we'll be working on. I just wanted to give you guys a heads up that this exists. I'm really excited about it. I'm happy about it. You're going to get in here. And you're going to see some code that isn't documented, that won't look great. Like, I'm not happy with some of this stuff. So please, don't be too critical of it. 
but there's some stuff in here that is documented and it is good and it is most definitely going to make it into the final final product i'm pretty sure or some form of it and i welcome people to contribute and work on this and i hope that this effort creates an environment that people want to contribute to i hope that the consolidation of these repositories is something that people wanted or needed to make the leap to at least start looking at the project maybe not contributing but at least looking all right that's the video guys thanks for watching sorry i don't have anything exciting other than that to announce i know that's not exciting to many people but i think for any programmers out there who are interested in contributing in the future not even now but maybe a year or two years from now when the project is mostly complete uh, this is something that will continue even to that day thanks for watching guys see you next time